resolution to have no house fire injuries this year. Micah Upshaw has been looking into it today. She's been speaking with Lafayette's fire inspector who believes it can happen with correct prevention and preparation. Micah? Thank you, Jeff. Last year brought an increased number of deadly house fires throughout the state. And while fires are often unpredictable, there are many factors that can be prevented. Temperatures drop, you may be tempted to pull out the space heater. Well, Lafayette Fire Inspector Todd Trent says it's a major cause of house fires this time of year. There's about 500,000 structure fires annually. Space heaters create 12% of those at about 15,000 um, annually across the nation. A space heater fire often starts from objects being too close to the box or electrical issues with the outlet. Trent says these fires can be prevented if you take preventable measures before using. Want to make sure they're three feet away from any clothes, uh, any type of combustible material, and we want to make sure that you uh, plug them directly into the main outlet. And if you have a fireplace, there's a procedure to prevent fires from catching in the chimney. Want to make sure that your chimney had been maintained and swept annually or to the manufactured guidelines. And also, as you discard your ashes, um, that they get discarded into a metal can with a lid. There were nearly 2,300 deadly house fires across the country last year, 72 of them in Indiana. Trent says the best way to prepare for a house fire is knowing your escape routes and most importantly, having working smoke alarms. You might have the safest house possible, but at the end of the day, the only way that you're going to get early notification is, is the alarms and to get out in a safe manner. Although the alarm going off after accidentally overcooking your food may be annoying, Trent says it's never wise to take the batteries out or remove the alarm. We can make sure that everybody's educated and they get every tool possible, but they have to take responsibility to make sure that they understand that fire is a very dangerous business. Trent says he's challenging the community to be prepared now rather than sorry later. Micah Upshaw, News 18. All right, good advice. Thank you, Micah. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans, who's looking ahead to an unseasonably warm first weekend of 2019. Right, Chad?